transcendent man in every culture. Well, welcome back to the Dongfeng Motor Wuhan Open. Up next on centre court is a former world number one and a former semi-finalist here in Wuhan, Caroline Wozniacki. How was she fair in 2019? Taking on one of the Asian sensations, Shea Su Wei. Always guaranteed a fascinating match with Shea. So what will happen this time around? Plenty of court craft, no doubt, on show from both of these players. Olga Savchuk, alongside myself, Pete Hodges. I suppose what I've just said means you're going to enjoy this one. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You're always going to enjoy the matches. Sue I mean, I know her for so many years being on the tour. I feel like she's really long on the tour. She started really early. And, uh, yeah, she's a fascinating player. And uh, I feel she's having last few years like one of the best years in her career. I would say like second career because she had some break in, in between. Yeah, just uh, as you say, the last couple of years she's thrived playing against the big players on the big stage, and it certainly is a big stage, and she's certainly against a big player. So it's a, a tricky encounter for Wozniacki, who hasn't perhaps had the best of years. Amazing to think Wozniak is still only 29 years of age. I mean, you think about her as being yeah, in the 30s year, yeah. <laughs> just because she's been around for so long, played so many matches uh, ladies, and achieved uh, so much. We have uh, TV changeover, we have a rel electronic review. Okay, we're doing the 151, and we have the shot clock in the corner. Do you have any questions? No? I'm, I'm gonna call him. They, they haven't told me, but I'll, I'll double check and tell you. Okay? But there is, if, if, if the people is in, there is a people on the side? Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, if he's see. in uh, between second and third side, okay. Okay. okay? Just press once to start, yeah? And then press again to stop. Right here. Okay, should show. Did you 
little bit of confusion with the uh, these modern <laughs> things that they have these days rather than just the old-fashioned coin it's toss too modern, right? <laughs> too modern but it does mean that everyone in the stadium this wonderful stadium that we have in Wuhan it. can <laughs> see who wins the toss so uh, that's one of the reasons why they do do that and it was Caroline Wozniacki who won the toss and uh, elected to surf first they're looking very relaxed is the 13th seed but, uh, this really uh, last chance of perhaps getting some precious ranking points because she's got a lot of pressure on her shoulders during the Asian swing Wozniacki because she's ranked 51st on the Porsche race to Shenzhen which shows you how, many, uh, how difficult it's been for her this year but of course we all know what a talented player she is as I say former semi-finalist here and the winner of this match will take on another experienced talented player in Svetlana Kuznetsov who got the better of the input in Sabre earlier on today because retiring in the second set a set and one left down Kuznetsov what a last couple of months she's been having yeah, looking at the section of the draw I was just thinking <laughs> I don't want to be there <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's the, uh, the third quarter of the draw in the same section of the is Fitalina and to zoom out further you can see Wong Xiang as well so much to say about Caroline. Such a good player. She came into the third quarter early. Oh, through so her career, she was always at the best level. And she had those drop-downs. A lot of players on the left side of the empire. Let's welcome Zhang Chunwan Ying, Xie Shuwei. Also stable as a person. And she's such a, a great tactician as well. Yeah. Seems, seems, seems he works out opponents. And that's why it's going to be so intriguing this matchup against uh, someone like Xu Sei Wei. But, uh, as we were saying, Wozniacki, Grand Slam champion. But it's been a, an up and down year for Wozniacki. I mean, injury issues have played their part, as in fitness has been difficult for her, which is why she's, you know, when you look at the clay court swing in particular, Retired her in a, in a number of matches there. What for you is, is yeah, being the issue? I, mean, I think it's the only year uh, which is really not great for her because all the previous she was, as I said, quite stable. And I think uh, that a lot of things, the injury is a big part of it. And it's quite a serious injury, right? Like, uh, it's difficult to manage. And she was saying a lot of uh, new good changes in her life. What's the Aki? Three minutes. And taking on Shea Su Wei today. You, uh, as you were saying just a, a few moments ago, isn't it? It's really been a, a terrific last couple of years for Shea, who has got her ranking up. She's now ranked at 32 in the world. She uh, was ranked as high as 23 back in 2013. As you said, it's almost been like a second win, the second career for Shea. But someone who's so popular on tour, just with regards to the different way that she plays. It's something popular, but no one wants to play her. Yeah, no one wants to play her. <laughs> but in terms of everyone wants to watch her, because again, it's, it's one of the beauties of our sport, isn't it? We saw Aron Chabur on this court just a few moments ago, and then we've got another player who just likes to create in, in different ways. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, working with Paul McNamee uh, for a few year, last few years, in more than two years, it's made a huge impact on her second career, I would say. And, uh, yeah, add more depth in her game. Because I felt before she always had that touch and tricky game, but it was just that touch and tricky game, but now I feel she has like more, yeah, more about her game. It's more all-around game. Fabio Sosa will look after this one. You may have seen the head-to-head uh, -head flash up there as well. 4-1 to Wozniacki, but the most recent meeting, which came this year in Miami, it was Shea who won that one, 6-3, 6-7, 6-2, in a match that lasted over 133 minutes. Beautiful blue skies all around Wuhan, which is exactly what we want to see. Pretty idyllic tennis playing conditions, but the, the size of the, uh, the stadium means that the elements don't get in too much with regards to the wind, so be affected too much by the wind and it's 25 degrees celsius so not overly hot today either so far anyway 
course, Shea, one of the players, given the opportunity to play in her own continent. And so uh, we'll no doubt have a lot of fans following her. But as will Caroline Wozniacki, who uh, won the tournament in Beijing, of course, last year for the second time in her career. And uh, do you think there's going to be a bit of added pressure then on, on Wozniacki heading into this Asian swing? The fact that, as I mentioned, she's 51 in the world on the Porsche race to Shenzhen. So she loses here early and loses early in, in Beijing. Then her ranking really will fall. I think she shouldn't have any pressure. And Ladies and gentlemen, this was one match we played the best. I mean, so three tie break set. She's having, I mean, Caroline great Hosniaki life and uh, the did so much in her career. Herself. And she has to be like confident and proud about herself. And uh, she just has to enjoy it, I think. And uh, with regards to pressure, you can ask the same question with regards to Shea playing in Asia. That must bring a I its think own this pressure. Girl never End has of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I was I expecting she, that answer from you. <laughs> she never has pressure. <laughs> but of course, it's probably just a look. <laughs> it should be an enjoyable encounter. First round of the uh, Dongfeng Motor Wuhan Open. So here we go then, first round action from China at the Wuhan Open. It is uh, former semi-finalist and 13th seed Caroline Wozniacki looking to find some form in the final phase of the year. Taking Caroline Wozniacki to Uber start. talented Shea Su Wei. Ready? Should be thoroughly entertaining and it will be the day to get this match underway. Play. Olga Savchuk and myself, Peter Rogers, to talk you through it. So with regards to Shea's unique ability, is she overrated or, sorry, is she underachieved or overachieved throughout mm. her career? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> I think we will never know the, the, the truth <laughs> because of her unique uh, tennis. Does she love? I think you can easily say both way. Both way for Sue Wei. Uh, you can <laughs> either say she's overachieved or underachieved, so it's like you you will never know the truth with her game style. It's like Four can go off. any 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 way. So Wozniacki isn't in the best of form, but a nice okay. start here. Love service hold. Did play some good tennis, though, at the US Open. That was her last tournament, reached the third round there. Being the likes of uh, Collins in the second round in particular, before losing to the eventual winner, Andreescu. And then she went to Harvard <laughs> to study a bit. I mean, it's quite incredible, Wozniacki, isn't it? The, yeah. the life that she leads in terms of... You know, a player who's played so much, achieved so much in the game. Of course, you can see they're ranked 17th uh, this time last year, was second in the world, former world number one Grand Slam champion, yet finds time to run marathons, to, yeah, to study. Yeah, to be interesting in fashion, to attend the fashion week. Like, it's, she's, she has uh, way that's what the it. most thing I really like about her, that she really lives the life and... Uh, And to every aspect Love of it, she's thing. really dedicated. You know, she's been through such a long career with dad always being by her side and as her coach, main coach. And it's really difficult to do and manage. And they managed as a family. That's quite amazing. As well as her game, her results are always been there on top. And uh, never really had a bad year, I would say. And the same as her game, she developed that game that you can, if you look at her, you cannot really find a weak spot. It's going to be fascinating to see once she does retire what 
she does with the rest of her career. It was Harvard Business School that she was accepted into. Speak to her. Well, any any business people I often speak to. I mean, obviously, I've got a tennis background as well. But I do always encourage them to hire tennis players because I just think 15, it's problem solving, isn't it, at the highest level in terms of trying to work out puzzles, thinking on your feet. There's a there's a lot to be said. Out there on your own, you have a tough character to survive on the tour. Well, that can be used in the business world. <laughs> and there is that special technique from Dude. Shay. Able to take the ball so early, generate angles from pretty much anywhere on the court. I always make fun of her. For me, she, she looks like she's walking on the court, but <laughs> it's not true. Adventure. She's coming Wozniaki. from a uh, big family, I think, family of seven or eight brothers and sisters. And uh, I. Numbers game, yeah. surely, isn't yeah, it? Maybe, in, yeah, maybe, you know, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's the number You'd hope game. someone yeah. <laughs> out of the seven. Both. Game for Wozniacki. Didn't apply enough uh, topspin on that serve, and Wozniacki the gives Wozniacki the early break in this opening set. I have to say, uh, talked about the struggles with, it, with injury throughout the year for Wozniacki, and it's been a stop-start year due to that. But... Uh, and what I saw at the US Open, I, I thought we were seeing the sort of old and known Wozniacki in that performance against Collins and pushed Andreescu hard as well. Two tight sets, 6 4, six, four. I thought it was a real shame that injury did scupper her clay court swing. Of course, got Francesca Schiavone on board. Didn't play a lot of tennis on the clay Love due to the, uh, the various injuries. Tactically, I mean, how do you approach a match against Shea? <laughs> Why is, I mean, with the way how Wozniacki is playing, was uh, playing a lot of balls inside the court, I think she just have to, she's going to try and wait for uh, Sue Wei create something too much creative and, you know, to miss in that creative creativeness. It's like they're advantage and as well as disadvantage too much creativeness first oh. 15 i think against these players like the way you have to play as simple as you can because you don't want to go to the rallies with them the same rallies as they do because they like that Thank you.
Yeah, yeah, up the break. So an excellent start here for the world number 17. Well, leads three games to love. Leads three love. Take your seats quickly, please. Thank you. Time. Please. Players are ready, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. So needs to get herself going here, Shay. Both players just being made to wait. Unlike uh, Wozniacki, has been uh, in Asia for a, f a few weeks now. Shea. Oh, well, again, that brilliant ability off the backhand Fair side in particular. On. Wozniacki can bring this kind of simple, uh, no mistake game, and Sue is going to have difficulty for not having fun, you know, and not being able to create too much things. It's actually a probably a good tactic against Sue. I mentioned their head to head record. Wozniacki did win their Let first four meetings, but second service. first three of those were from 2008 to, to 2012. They met once as well in 2015. For Shea won this year. Oh. That backhand is so smooth, so simple. It's not much of yeah. a swing, is it? No swings, <laughs> just touch, and somehow it just goes. I really don't know how come she creates that sometimes speed and power from just touching the ball. Of uh, course, one of the reasons why she's such a good doubles player, the fact that she can play shots like that under pressure, keep it low, use the angles. Oh. And her third slam in third doubles shot. this year, winning Wimbledon for the second time. This time with her Barbora Stritzova. is a, a former world number one in doubles. Currently ranked number five. Oh, well, Wozniacki giving Shea a taste of her own medicine there with her stunning passing shot. Stunning is the right word. Oh. 
again, it's that cross-court backhand just taking all the time away from Wozniak, and you can see Deuce. perhaps the Dane thinking, I might not be playing too many more balls to that side. Yeah, it's kind of sharp coming out from Suwei. Well, they had uh, some school children in yesterday. Seems like they got even younger in today. <laughs> Preschool. <laughs> well, we've seen the cross court backhand. Now we see the down the line forehand. That couldn't have been any sweeter either for Shea Suwei. Yeah, maybe you have to slow down the game for Suwei because then she has that kind of <laughs> ping pong <laughs> feeling. So you take that away and maybe. I missed that one. I, I know players have generally tried to yes. vary the height and the spins and the speed against her, but. And Wasnaki is really good at mm. it. But like I feel the best she plays is when she doesn't have a time. That's mm -hmm. the most unique thing that she plays at her best when she doesn't have time. Miss challenge from the the right far side line. The ball is calling. A bad decision from the Dane. First tense. Especially she made the return. Advantage here. Ms. Wozniaki has two challenges remaining. Game shift. Get herself on the board. Leads three games, later two than one. she would have liked, Shea. She doesn't give too much away emotionally either. Yeah, the player from Chinese Taipei. I mentioned that she played at a couple of events in Japan, a quarter finest in Hiroshima. It was the second round in Osaka before losing to uh, Elise Mertens. Good win though over Muguruza in round one there. It's a 33rd in the world, Che, and as much as players are, are focused on the end of the year, as in, we'll know that she's on the cusp of being seeded for the Australian Open, starting next year, of course, so important for, for players like Che. Yeah, and the other reason to play good in Asia, even though not only about being seeded in Australia, but that these points will stay with you for all through the year. Just your love. Beautiful point from Caroline. That nice pose b before she hit the shot made Suwei guessing. Forty love. Serving well so far. Drop the one point so far on serve was Niaki. He establishes the three game cushion in this opening set. And rather understandably, Shea calling her coach out onto the court.
Well, we missed much of the uh, yeah. the exchange there between Shea and her coach. Did you pick up anything t towards the back end? Though? No, I actually picked up only that she has to go fast to the ball when she has a shorter ball. Go fast with your legs and try your best. And I mean, I, I'm not <laughs> sure you can say can much this way the way because Thank you. She, every shot and every ball she plays so different. I don't know actually. And it all seems so instinctive. Yeah, as well. I don't know how you actually can like. I would be really thrilled to s to be around how the you coach her. Like, what do you say? The yeah, you're right. The word is instinctive. It's the right word. Has to find a formula, though, particularly off the return so far. As I say, there's only one with a one point off the uh, the Wozniacki service game. She's actually only won 45 percent of the points behind her. A first serve as well. Wozniacki dealing with it very well as she does there. Love 15. Maybe that was something that he would have been saying early on in terms of what to do with the first serve. She won five out of 12 points. Wozniacki, though, as we know, one of the best returners in the game. Fifteen. Shea, who uh, has a good record in Asia. Three titles have all come in this continent. Kuala Lumpur in 2012, Guangzhou in the same year, and then last year in Hiroshima. All everywhere where it's it was super heat. Yeah, so she probably wanted it hotter than what it is right now. Yeah. So it's, it's quite cool today in Wuhan. Oh. Well, as we know, it, Wozniacki can play in any Perfectly condition. Yeah, yeah, she won the uh, the Australian Open. It was baking hot. Yeah, and I think Vasuwe, of course, is better when it's more heat because she. Her tennis is more like uh, based on touch and Focus. feel, and with heat she doesn't need to create extra power because it flies more. So for sure, for her, hotter is better. Beautiful return from Wozniacki there. 40. Perfect timing. Looks like she's very relaxed, right, and confident. And kind of feel no pressure. I think uh, also those all those kind of things that we mentioned, interested in fashion, Harvard, everything, it also helps you to be more relaxed about tennis, which is good. Because you're not like uh, closed minded. I know a few of the players are, are into their fantasy football, be it NFL or, or football that, that I call football. <laughs> Coming from England, soccer. Soccer, football. Maybe known. <laughs> Deuce. Yeah, if you've got the time, and, and, and as you were saying to me off air, in terms of tennis players tend to have a lot of time to themselves off the court, and so why not put it into something like a business degree? But I suppose if you want to relax, fantasy football is a little more relaxing. You don't have to think as much as studying for a Harvard PhD. But, but a lot of players now on the tour have uh, take online studying in, in, I think, North Carolina, or South Carolina University. WTA makes, uh, gives like a package program and uh, yeah, you can apply online. And I know a lot of tennis players studied and I think it's a great opportunity because tennis takes all your life. So... Mm. It's not really a time to attend the classes, and it's a great opportunity to have a degree as well. And as uh, you're a long time retired, as the saying goes, as well. Yeah. Missed it. Okay. Just a few too many errors coming from Shea. And he's Wozniacki under real pressure here as uh, Wozniacki breaks again for a 5 1 lead. And 
you said she's looking very relaxed and you just wonder as well with the injury issues she's had this year the frustration that that would have brought as in the fact that she is now fully fit and just perhaps enjoy that the last month or so of the season Not chasing points to, to qualify for Shenzhen well, as I say okay. want to keep her ranking as high as possible but just looks like she's going to enjoy her tennis yeah and she can definitely allow herself to do that she worked so hard during all her career never been really yeah down with her tennis and level and I never saw her not working <laughs> yeah, that's nice to control. so I feel she is so like as well dedicated to her fans always being nice with press always never say no to stuff always like so open i think she did a lot for tennis overall right on top of that one thirty fifteen. Two set points. Oh. This is the third point that she's lost on her own serve in this set. reason why Che is so tough to play just have no idea which direction the ball will travel in until the last split it's second traveling. yeah until it's traveling past <laughs> you I'd imagine if you're playing it but also she doesn't have that kind of spin on the ball it's actually reverse spin it's more like slice coming off the her racket of course because there's not much of a backswing isn't it there's not much of a tell. <laughs> yeah, sure. well, it's just a classic Shea Su Wei point, isn't it? New ball who three. breaks to stay alive, saves two set points. And who knows, question, maybe the comeback is on here for the player from Chinese Taipei. Oh, 
Bosniak leads five games to two. Wiesz, Kara, chodzi o to, że przed sobą musisz grać tak jak grać do tej pory. Musisz kończyć do przodu z rotacją cały czas. Bo jak ściągniesz, to wtedy automatycznie ona cię goni, bo ona za każdym razem gra to samo. I nie ma jak wyciągnąć i później ona ma przewagę. Czyli nawet jak zepsujesz czy coś, nie ma znaczenia. Trzymaj ten swój, ten swój rytm, timing, no nie? I, I za każdym razem chcesz grać piłkę w najlepszym momencie. To sobie po prostu mógł cały czas żyć. Czuję, obojętnie jak one są grane, to jak bierzesz w najlepszym momencie, wtedy jest idealnie, dobra? To przed sobą. Tak jak mówię, kończ. Bo ty masz timing dobry, miałeś cały czas, wiesz. Także wyrzut nie jest, nie jest łatwo, dlatego wiesz, to, to jest ważne, żebyś nie wstrzymywał. Cały czas przechodzisz, przechodzisz tam, kończysz uderzenie, dobra? I tutaj już załatwiam się, jak jej dajesz na backend trochę wyżej, to ona ci krócej gra backend. Again, Olga, I'm going to turn Polish to you. Skills. Well, how, how, how sharp are your Polish skills? <laughs> I could understand some uh, he was saying about uh, playing in your own rhythm and you're having you good timing Let's and see, just please. concentrated on that. She that it looks like, yeah, she has a good rhythm and a good timing and just, yeah, go with your hands. He, I think he showed that, that don't stop your hands. That's when she played the best. And, uh, Overall, I think you say all is good. Just watch your timing and yeah, reading. But yeah, what would you say if you're five two up? You don't want to say something to change. Having to stay in the set here, Shay. But once again, planes being made to wait. For him one-two punch. Fair thing, the other thing as well that Mr. Wozniacki does is that he always crouches down, which is an interesting. I know I'm always trying to <laughs> psychoanalyze, but you know it's it's an interesting way of sort of demonstrating that he's not the the one in charge yeah. in a way. I don't know whether he he consciously does that for a reason. I don't know. I uh, I don't know if you have that saying. I I take off my hat <laughs> in front of him because I have so much respect for mm. for what he's done yeah. with his daughter and yeah. how he managed and it's not easy being a family and a coach and somehow he managed it all through her career and she always listens to him and it's just amazing for me mm. like how he I think everything what he does please. is right well that's what she please said that moving, please, an you. amazing open letter that she wrote it is online in terms of saying that, yeah, Dad, you were you were always right. And then I didn't quite believe it early on in my career. But, uh, no, for sure they had ups and downs, like every family and <laughs> father-daughter relationship, but they managed it really well. A little bit of luck for Shay, but I mean, you're you're aware of this having worked with with younger players, is in parents can sometimes be difficult to deal with and you always get that pushy parent thing but Caroline Wozniak has always been quick to point out she's been the one who was pushing him in the early days that wanting to get out on the tennis court she was the driving force behind wanting to play yeah I think they balance mm. each other really well yeah uh, so sometimes he was pushing her as well it's yeah. not uh, uh, all the time she's excited about practices right at, yeah uh, at some point so She's often yeah, always yeah. said how positive he is with his and feedback. Yeah, and, and you can see he's uh, always like well, talking to other players, to coaches. He's very like easy to approach and uh, nice to talk. And you will always have a smart conversation with him, you know. And I think uh, that was also with regards to Wozniak. I mean, we always have stories in this sport. 
particularly being such an individual sport, when she won the Australian Open, the fact that she moved away from her dad momentarily for a couple of years, went with other coaches, tried to get, and I think was a, a pretty special story. Serving for the first set here, though, was Nyaki. 5-3. I'll be a little concerned though, because Shea has certainly found her rhythm and routine now. And I love 15. It's uh, got all the momentum right now. Yeah, it feels for me a bit that uh, Wozniacki started to care a bit more. Because that's what usually Sue Wei does. If she looks like <laughs> she doesn't care, of course she cares, but uh, I think if you, like Wozniacki was showing the same thing, like really chill and relax about the points, I think that's what can touches. frustrate Suwei, because you're kind of beating her in her own uh, game, and her own terms, and that's what she wants, she wants from you that tension and careness. Of course, again, uh, Caroline is such a hard worker. We know like how hard she worked during the points, and I guess she it's cannot, not sell the uh, ball on the right baseline. It's the not her natural calling. thing. Be relaxed about the points. Challenging here. And that's a big point. She has found the line, which it has. She has two more break points, and well, really, this set looked. Done it dusted, it didn't it? At 5 1 40 15. And now, Shea with the chance to get back to 5 4. Let first of us. She has seemingly found a rhythm off the return as well. I mean, at 5 1, 40 15, Wozniacki had lost just three points on serve all set, but now she's been broken twice in a row, and Shea is right back in this opening set. 4 5.
Thank you, behind the court. Thank you very much. Shea, Shea. Well, was 1-5 down, Shea. Back to 4-5. Can she get back to 5 all? Love 15. Wozniacki getting a bit of treatment, incidentally, at the last sit-down, just to, for what looked like a, a bit of a, a, a scuffed knee, shall we say. I think she hit it with the racket the previous games. Uh, I was going to say, I didn't quite spot what had done the damage. Nothing serious, though, which is a relief for the injury issues she's had this year. Fifteen on. So what needs to change here for Wozniak? Because suddenly it's Shea who's dictating all of these types of points. Yeah, I think uh, Wozniak has to maybe s change the spin of the ball and maybe play a bit higher and slower. So Sue has more time actually to think about what she's doing. Because as I said before, she likes when she doesn't have time. Oh. So either you overpower her, either you really slow down. Because uh, if you play like middle speed, she loves it. She feels very comfortable. She just stay on the baseline and... Forty fifty. Right to the sideline. Backhand has been dreamy from one five down. Thank you. Wozniacki just doesn't have an answer. More fantastic tennis from Shea Su Wei, who does indeed recover from 5-1 five five down five. to get back to 5-all. Yeah, that's the thing is with Su Wei, that even if you're five love up, it doesn't <laughs> mean anything because she is not an emotional player who will play differently depending on the score. Sweet strike. Thirty fifteen. Get all about the timing.
just feel right now that Wozniacki, as I said a few moments ago, doesn't have an answer. And she, Zue managed to push her back behind the baseline quite far and yeah, looks like... Wait, please. Just, it just we, we talk about Shea getting into a rhythm. It just feels like she's in the rhythm right now and Wozniacki's tried varying the spins and the speeds but Nothing seems to be affecting the play. Points like that help. Yeah, the thing is with Sue, I feel it's like when you play against her, it's uh, there is no <laughs> mental game behind the the game actually, so you can't really get into her nerves or bad mood or. <laughs> Yet to see really much of a reaction from Wozniacki either. We've been saying how calm her exterior has been, but you just kind of wonder how long that will last for. The fact she was up 5 1, up 40 15 in this game. Must be a little bit of frustration bubbling under. I invented Wozniacki. Timely ace. Wozniacki. First game in five for Wozniacki. Frustration Wozniacki actually on the face of Shea. As uh, her run of games finally has stopped, Wozniacki once again a game away from taking this first set. 6 5. Time. Well, she's done it twice already. Shay, so have to stay in the set. Can she do it the third time? This time, five six. Fifteen long. It's a signature volley, I would say, from Suwe. Thirty fifteen. Again, never seems to look rushed. Opens up the court beautifully well here, and then no panic. Four to fifteen.
Game shift. She somehow found a way to get to the tiebreaker, Shea. Six games like a long tiebreaker. time ago that Mosniaki had those two set points. Both players received one additional chance. And this Shea has won five out of the last six games, so certainly the momentum with the world number 33. And it felt so one way, right? Uh, when it was 5-1. And you had a feeling that Wozniacki got that set, and got it all under control. And now I feel it's like completely even game. And Although, of course, yesterday we had that extraordinary match between Venus Williams and Daniel Collins. Venus Williams up, down five, love, got it back, and took it to a tiebreaker in the second set before then going and losing it. But you get the sense, Shea here hasn't One had that zero. sort of feeling that you, you felt Venus Williams had, where she got back to five all and then relaxed a little. Whereas here, Shea is just carrying on her own sort of blasé way. That was uh, another bit of sensational touch. Incidentally, Wozniacki three and three this year in tie breaks. Shea is won nine, lost six. Just missed. One all. And you can see now definitely Suwe is the one who is in charge of the points and taking the control of the, of the point. Two one, Bosniaki. She really needs uh, that first serve now, Bosniaki. to keep Shea a little further back behind the baseline there. Yeah, you're completely right. As soon as she laying a bit more deeper to the baseline, Sue doesn't have the, the same timing. It's all about timing there for Wozniacki. Superb Four off one. backhand. Wozniacki. Found her rhythm again. Yeah, she stepped inside the court and add more deepness in her ground strokes. Being a bit more aggressive. Yeah, that's the way. That's the right way. 5-1. Wozniacki. And then change it, mix it up a bit with the higher ball. Add more spin on it. Well, Wozniacki will be hoping it's not deva deja vu with regards to points being compared to games because, of course, was up 5-1 in games in this set. Now up 5-1 in points. Got to give her credit, though, in terms of attitude-wise. As in many would have got frustrated. We would have seen maybe a, a racket smash from Wozniacki, so experienced and able to keep her temperament nice and calm. It's 
the first reaction I actually ever see from Sue <laughs> talking to her box. Like two of us. Variation from Mosiaki again one. using the slice on Mosiaki. this occasion. It seems to have been the key to getting the unforced errors from Shea. Yeah, beating away in her own game. This was a set that looked like it was going to be done in all of around 25 minutes. It's now taken nearly an hour. But Mosiaki does finally have some more set points. Oh, that's delicately done. Wonderful play once again from Shea. Six two. Touching the control on the stretch. Just magnificent. I think Wozniacki was ready for that drop shot, but just you know, do quite well with that approach shot. Went for safety. And finally, was Niaki able to get over the line? Why seven games to six? Topsy turvy affair, the opening set, a set that could have been won in under half an hour. As was Niaki was up five one, but gets it done in the tiebreaker. Second set, share to serve. Oh. 15 long.
another great drop shot from Suwei. Exchange actually of the drop shots. And again, she showed us what a beautiful touch and hand skill she has. Light for service. Oh, super backhand pass from Wozniacki. 14 15. It's almost Shay like, wasn't it, with the uh, short backswing? And for me, it looks like Sue is. Uh, started to play a bit more aggressive and really going for it. Fourteen that's so key. It was the Aki. First game as we so seven. often say with this Chinese Taipei player, Shea, seemingly unaffected by what's gone before, despite losing a very dramatic first set. Yeah, I have a feeling it's going to be not an easy set for Caroline Wozniacki. So again, by losing the first set, missing some opportunities that she had, going to feel even more relaxed and even more creative. <laughs> So yeah, I felt like it was a few ups and down for Caroline and being 5-1 so easily and confident up and then suddenly back to 5 all and kind of playing under pressure last two games and the tie break. But she managed to have that first set. And she managed to uh, mix it up a little bit in, in, on the tie break. Well, just to get on top of the volley. Fifteen. Just yeah, if she can speed up a bit, the point like this would be points. I feel would be much easier for her. Like this way, yeah, doesn't have the same timing. But easy to say. Yes. <laughs> uh, easy to say in terms of coming forward as well as in Shea doesn't give you much of a chance because again takes the ball so early. Yeah, especially like us, we're seeing the court from the top of the court, where you have a very clear picture of what's going on. Oh. Hey, uh, when I played, I actually didn't like to watch the matches before I would go on the court, because I felt the court is so obvious, and then when you actually go on the court, <laughs> you just see the net and like... Yeah. You mean you it lulls like you into a false sense of security? It's, no, it's like more the eye vision, like something, like it's so different when you go on the court it's like to see a center court from top and yeah you feel, oh it's so easy i see the court and then you go and you're lower than the net and like you don't have the same perspective and that's great defense from Shea. it's something that i, I wonder whether that's coaches true. will do in terms of adjusting where they sit on the court to get different perspectives because of course it, it can give you useful bits of information i mean obviously we sit in a unique position here so we're seeing a different match to what the coach is seeing sat court side yeah i think it's very important but a lot of times coach doesn't choose where to sit 
mm. and uh, you have certain boxes and uh, most of the time it's on the side so it's actually not like great view because you're moving mm. your head around and uh, yeah you don't watch it from top I always find but it very very interesting in, in different sports incidentally as in uh, in soccer or football as in you know they sat in the dugout they're at the side very close to the line whereas in, in rugby they'll often sit quite high up so they can get the perspective watching overall what's going on no, I mean definitely on uh, Grand Slams most of the boxes coaches boxes are on top of the court so which is gives you a perfect view yeah, well, yeah. just wonder whether coaches utilize one game. you can watch on TV so how, how many of them do you, do you have you ever done that as a coach sort of watching had a TV, TV feed as well yeah. as when you sat the court side no I haven't <laughs> big mistake <laughs> <laughs> but then you as a coach you probably get even more frustrated because it's so obvious when you're watching tennis on top of the court mm -hmm. and on the side because if you watch on the side you like feel like more like a player you you don't see exactly everything what's going on and you don't see the reaction of the player as well because it's too far Out. Yeah, I've always been amazed in, in football in particular why, why more managers don't sit in a, a different position to see the, the formations and see the movements. But again, as you say, probably wanting to be closer to the players to and, and also be able to feed back to them, Love shouting to them. Of course, we also see the face expressions, which is... Love help, really helping to see what you have to do if you would be a player and you could see mm. that in that moment. Tremendous defence, and it was a very important point too from Shea, but on the backhand side that it's so well to dig it out and keep the ball deep. That shot there. Yeah, it felt like Wozniacki had that point. She was so aggressive, and so going for it. I mean, it, it, it's, it's almost as if the point had stopped. The Third casual game. nature that Shea just strides up to the ball and then hits the most sumptuous drop shot with the volley. But that's the thing when you play against her. That's the <laughs> uh, it drives you crazy when you see that. And you're like, how come you win points so easy and so casual like against me? <laughs> Especially when you're putting in so much effort and yeah, running around yeah. left, right and centre. But she does it from she was like eight years old. I was, well, I was just yeah. about that was going to be my next question to you in terms yeah. of. Yeah, I, I mean, I know, I know her since 14 probably, and she always had that volley kind of half stopping the point. And I mean, the talent is, is clearly there. Just did, did you know any of her old coaches? Because, I mean. Her it, father it, was a long time coach okay. of her. I think then she went kind of on her own for a while. Because I always find with unique techniques, you have to give whoever coached them in the early days a lot of credit because I mean Advent that means the coach is just looking at the effect you know and, and that and that's something that coaches don't always do they get so focused on technique at a young age but again I mean imagine how tough for a coach to kind of coach mm. these kind of players because you cannot have the same formula as for most of the players <laughs> Works the same. Game 
And that's a Newman. gutsy service hole from Shea. Uh, under real pressure there at 15.40, but it finds a way to win the game. And leads 2-1, second set. Shea leads two games to one. Forehand i backhand. Jak i zagrałaś tak jak teraz, dobrze zagrałaś, ona ci grała w półkortu, rotuje ją. Na forehand czy backhand obojętnie, czyli więcej rotacji i, i krótsze te piłki wtedy, e, krótsze krosy. I ona ma wtedy problem. A tak jak uderzysz na nią, to ona to lubi. Zwłaszcza jak z, z ten, czyli cały czas z rotacją, z rotacją, z rotacją, Karol. I przed sobą, tak jak teraz grasz, ciężar masz do piłki, te piłki mają ten, bo tak jak ona gra z, te piłki, wiesz, takie z góry do dołu, które nie, jak ty minimalnie się spóźnisz, żeby na nie wejść, to ona ma przewagę wtedy. Musisz za każdym razem, tak jak w tej chwili jesteś, niżej wchodzisz i z rotacją, Karol, i kończ, nie że gonisz gdzieś, kończ spokojnie, wszystko widzisz, rozprowadziłaś, nawet jak ze Ale ja wiem, ale jak ty dobrze zagrywasz, ale... Tak szybko bierze i nie wiesz jakieś placki. Ale dlatego, że my tak jest teraz gra. Yeah, all I could pick it up from my Polish skills is that uh, her father said that she has to really move her away, the ball away from the middle of the court because that's what Sue Wei likes when she's standing on the ball and doesn't have to move. And he said, use a lot of spin on the ball. When you use a lot of spin and move her, she has to run. That's the best for you. Lovely thing. I just wonder that the previous game, how much of a turning point that will be. Isn't Wozniacki again looking good at 15.40, but some stunning tennis from Shea. Yeah, it's kind of the same uh, game as at 5-1 in the previous set. Yeah. That's really well done. That was a very high from Shea. Wozniacki watching it very closely. How great was the uh, backhand drive volley from Wozniacki. It's one of the, I wouldn't say one of the toughest shots, but it's quite tough, especially backhand drive volley. It was a high lob. Got to say, overall, it's been a, a very good performance from Wozniacki, really, because Shea's played some excellent tennis, but again, Wozniacki, talking about the temperament, not seen it affect her. 50 plus And again, come back to the coaching point that we talked in the previous game. I mean, it has to be as well a unique coach to be able to coach players like Su Wei, who, who doesn't think uh, in the box, <laughs> can accept this kind of mm. um, I've got game. Su such appreciation. As I say, I mean, coaching should be about effect, what is effective. What the ball is doing, and, and also encouraging younger players to express themselves on the court, but getting that balance right in, in terms of and setting them up with techniques that will help them once they do become an adult. It's something that is very difficult to do, and that's why. I'm always fascinated to, to find out who the younger coaches are when you see players like Shea. Uh, yeah, I think it's very important and crucial, the first coaches. Good challenge here from the Chinese Taipei player, and it will be another break point for the world number 33. That's why I find in my uh, early young coaching career that as a human, you come 
and work with your player and you want them to be like you kind of because mm -hmm. it's you always try like to change the people right around you or like kind of or you coach how thing. or yeah. you coach how, how you, you coach, felt you yeah. wanted to be yes, coached yes. even and then you suddenly i realized that okay but they are not me so <laughs> Whatever is good for them, maybe not good for me, but I have to accept it and not to try and change the personality and the way they see it in, in certain things. But so he does get the break. As I say, the previous game felt like a little momentum shift and Shea takes advantage of that, having nearly been a breakdown, finds herself a break up. 3-1 second set. And I, I, mean, I did a lot of coaching with under 10s and uh, that's often about, you know, establishing discipline and establishing how to behave on a tennis court. Um, but yeah, he's in, I, very much like you were saying, I coached how I wanted to be coached. As in, Perhaps I wasn't coached. I wanted someone a bit stricter. That's wonderful point construction. But you do have to check yourself, as you say, in terms of and, and realize that there are so many different characters in, it, in being such an individual sport. So many younger players will react to, to different truths, so to speak. Yeah, ma uh, imagine you're a coach of a young group of kids and like, I don't know, 10 year old, you have somebody like Sue Wei. Uh, who is have wonderful skills and so unique, Definitely. but so unusual as well. And probably to be that unusual in tennis, you have to behave differently as well. And uh, yeah, you have a group of kids who, who are the same and then you have to kind of see that it's unique it's not the something bad it's just unique and you have to mm. find a way how to approach this kid it's have to hi have some special skills Great fighting here for this point from Wozniacki. Yeah, although, uh, as I was saying, isn't you'd still like to hope, isn't that younger age, that discipline in terms of doing a warm up when you get on the court and trying your hardest, where to recover. see at this uh, stage of her career that she's unique in tennis is great but probably when she's kid you think oh she doesn't really try or mm. something and you probably punish the kids for that but uh, yeah it's yeah, I just wonder how much of a battle that was in her younger years in terms of <laughs> pushing back yeah. against the coach you know the, the shot that we saw earlier on when she just strolled up to the volley I mean most coaches would have been screaming there saying I want to see the quick footwork but it May works for her. It's a relaxed line. motion. The ball was just touch the line. Like he thinks it's long. But it has indeed just touched the line. Good eyesight, Olga. <laughs> it's because it went quicker, and I Four feel like every time it touches the line, it goes a bit faster than it is. Game Third game in a row for Shea. She leads four games to one. Really when really you consider that she was 5-1 down in the, the first set. She has been the better player for some time now. Leads 4-1.
Wozniacki needs to get something going here. It's not playing poorly, it's just been Shea Su Wei weaving her web for the last hour or so. Light for service. Taking control of the points, and managed to push back Wozniacki from the baseline and be a bit uh, defensive, more than she wants to be. Again, so smooth. You could see how she held it, hold it until the last moment on the racket and just went, made, made the Wozniacki guess where she's going to go and then just short back swing. And I know it's extreme skill from Shea, but in a way it's the simplest and purest form of tennis, isn't it? It's just yeah, short it's back swings, simple, yeah. flat, hit to the spaces. Yeah. And, it, and it's almost funny how throughout the years we've created all this top spin and semi-western grips and, and <laughs> too much right complex <laughs> ways of things and then Shea just turns up and goes well I'm uh, just going to take the ball the early <laughs> hit to the open space thanks for coming there we go I just wonder if everyone coached players to be like Shea whether we would just have loads of Shea Su Wei's out there You said it earlier, it is like computer game yeah, tennis. Yeah, I feel her emotions never goes above her uh, cold mind, which is amazing skill <laughs> because normally girls are emotion. Emotion goes high and under the pressure and for her it feels like it's always like under the certain level. And as well as you said, it's also she has unbelievable uh, feel on her hands. Oh. And not, yeah, if even everybody would play the same she way, not many players would play the same yeah. way because you have to have a certain feel in your mm. hands. Yeah, that wasn't sort of uh, yeah. underestimating the skill set yeah. of Shea, who has broken again here, and continues the momentum, now leads 5 1 second set. As I say, it is a joy to watch. Not for Caroline Wozniacki fans, though, right now. Well, it doesn't get the drop shot right, but at the moment I just think Wozniacki feels like she's been bamboozled. And maybe it's a good idea uh, for her to give away this set now and to loosen up your uh, hands and just get ready for the set. set. feel a bit like the previous match fit we were doing the same way when Donna was getting really in the middle of the game kind of annoyed with no rhythm and yeah and it really got into her head and I think that's what Carolina has to be aware of three set points for Shea Make that the two set points. Make it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, we saw a big turnaround, didn't we, in the, the first set? Wozniacki was up 5 1 before eventually getting it done on the tiebreaker. Oh, well, Wozniacki giving Shea a taste of her own medicine. Yeah, she's like, yeah, try it. Try how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> 
course, it was uh, was Nicky was up at 5-1 and 40-15 before being pegged back. Still one set point remaining though here for Shea. Dude. Something in the water at the moment, it feels. Players <laughs> trying to get over the line in the sets. We saw yesterday, of course, Venus Williams f up 5-3, 40-15, didn't win the set. Then Daniel Collins up 5-love. Very nearly didn't win the set, had to win it on the tie break. Yeah, again, I would say it's, I say it again and again, it's all about mental, how you stop caring at love for 40 love or love 40 suddenly and being down 5-1 yeah, and then you just you? play free and that was a uh, perfect example there by Wozniacki loose half volley beautifully played now it's a chance to get one of the breaks back yes. Nothing quite like ruining your momentum and a double fault, but that's not a double fault because it has nicked the line. Advantage. Point being given to Shea. So it's another set point. This time does get over the line. Right. What a set of tennis that was from Shea Su Wei. Thoroughly entertaining. Playing the only sort of tennis that the Chinese Taipei player can play. Wonderful stuff. Takes the set 6-1.
time. Final set. Was he ready to set? Shea going for a bathroom break, so long delay between sets two and three. In six minutes since the last point. And all the momentum has been with Shea, as you say. Shea, Shea. Thank you. It's been just three games for Wozniacki in the last 14. So she's got to do something to, to turn that around. type of point where you just go well what can you do yeah I mean that's the right thing she started to from the first point to add more spin on those balls was Naki that's what her dad was asking her to do and uh, bring more shape and play higher and deeper probably I think the deepness is not there enough yet I just wonder whether we will start to see at some point Wozniakian was trying to slow ball Shea Maybe even a few lobs mm. Moon ball ah. 15 minutes. Everything going Shea's way right now. The net court helping her out. It's so unfortunate for Wozniacki in this point. But, uh, that nice approach shot. She had almost everything to finish this point. Then touched the net. Gave to away that timing. Great, sir. Do you feel like uh, Wozniacki's first serve? picked it up like in the in the power in the last few years yes certainly yeah the last I think it was about two three years ago just before the, the year before she won the uh, the WTA finals that year in particular game shift and Shea breaks again and continues first the momentum uh, first sign of a bit of frustration for Wozniacki just doesn't seem to know what to do right now which is completely understandable with what we're seeing from Shea Suwei takes the first game of the third set. Yes, I feel like uh, Suwei is kind of uh, pushing her to play more aggressive, which is not a natural thing for Wozniacki. She's more of a safe player. So that's why it causes more uh, unforced errors than it's usual. And uh, yeah, I felt like the set uh, was not the best for Wozniacki. Away, just but the numbers aren't that numbers bad. Numbers are not bad. It's like again, it it doesn't mm. show the score. Yeah, it, it just it just shows you though how good a set of tennis that was from Shea Su Wei. It's in flawless, really. Wozniacki just coughing up five unforced errors according to that stat. Nine winners. That's usually enough to win the set. Yet only picked up the one game. Change the the height there and the the depth was Niaki, but I suppose that's tough to do when the ball's sort of skidding through low to you. 
feels like she doesn't do that enough, right? Like mm. the usual today, yeah. Yeah, today, the usual stuff that she does, mm. like mixing up, playing higher sometimes. Yeah. It's just great control from Shea. But again, there was a backhand in the middle of that rally where Wozniacki hit flat through the middle of the court and low, and yeah, you just feel that's playing yeah. into the hands of Shea. Yeah. Again, take nothing away, though, from the Chinese Taipei player. Wonderful hand skills on the finishing ball coming forward quickly. Sometimes, I don't know, maybe she feels that way now with the way, like, you feel... Uh, you feel it's way too much work and hustle and sometimes you just want to get like done with it and just play aggressive and f like shorten the points even when you know that you have to be like more safe and play maybe longer rallies but sometimes you're like so an annoyed <laughs> with <laughs> the <laughs> points that you start to rush a bit but that's it sort of miss from Shea that she's not got any pace to work with that's what I just wonder with Wozniacki whether she could as I say start moonballing almost it has to somehow get Shea out of a rhythm and also we talk about her taking it early not big backswings using opponent's pace that'll work as well for Wozniacki was almost uh, mirrored as Suwei returned down the line. Game shift. She leads two games alone. Backs up the break. Leads to love. Of course, we're, we're talking tactically with Wozniacki, and she's one of the best tacticians in the game. So as much as we're saying perhaps she should do this or that... She knows the best. She knows the best, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we never will see exactly what's going on on the court, because when you're on the court, we see stuff different, we feel different, and yeah, we'll not know what they feel. like she just can't find the right way to win the point nothing seems like affecting the way type of match right now that you just wonder who's going to stop Shay if she continues to play like this. Yeah, look how smart and constructive the point is coming from her. Changing from slice to short wide cross, going down the line. And this is, uh, Love well, this is the beginning of the match whether you thought Shea had underachieved or overachieved in her career and this is very much a performance that she's actually underachieved because when you see Wozniacki just look lost you know that you've got a very very good player in your hands Everything looks so easy right now, Shay. More stunning tennis from the world number 33. Breaks once more for a three-love lead in the decider. 
i w drugą stronę. Ona cię gania, a ty się cały czas mocu, mocujesz. Czyli teraz zrób coś takiego, że to ty się nie mocuj. Ty przechodź uderzenia, patrz co się dzieje, dochodzisz do piłki, z rotacją grasz w różne miejsca. Jak masz tak, to może zagrać coś środek, ale posłuchaj co ci powiem i, to, i wtedy wygrasz. Karolina, ty zagrywasz jedno, drugie uderzenie, a potem co? Ona ci odgrywa, to nic się nie dzieje. Karolinka, to odbyj... Ja nie mogę nic wziąć. Wszystko weźmiesz, tylko posłuchaj co ci powiem. Graj tak jak ci mówię, tak jak się gra na treningu, jak grasz cross, to graj jak na treningu, grasz cross, ona ci odgrywa, to ustaw się jak grasz po linii, a nie stoisz otwartą to i grasz po linii, ustaw się, wydarzyłaś dobrze, masz czas, to zagraj i do wyrzut, wyrzut do serwu Well, it was a good coaching from uh, Wozniacki dad again. Always have uh, something to say tactically wise, and what I could understand was saying that she really have to try and move her more because it looks like everything oh. what Siway <laughs> plays is from the comfort zone. And he said that you have to play like you play in the practice and just add more spin. You see the ball, you play cross court, then you play down the line, you just move on the empty corners. So similar to Shea, just, just hits the open space. Yeah. Another thing what I really like about his coaching when he comes on the court, I feel he is always different and he knows exactly, but probably because it's his daughter, he, so he knows her really good. <laughs> but like he's always different way how he speaks. Sometimes it's more tough, sometimes it's really soft. Oh, it's just electric tennis once again from Shea Suwei. I kind of love her reaction after the point as well. Plays a, an incredible point like that and nothing. Yeah. Then she's so like, can you be excited? <laughs> <laughs> but it's as if it's just saying, well, yeah, that's just I think that's after me they normal. They won Wimbledon, I think point. that she had a reaction, right? Okay. She, I think she yeah. said, like, come on or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, of course, as I uh, mentioned earlier, won Wimbledon for the second time in her career. With a bubble restricts of it this year. Game chip. Another luck Chilling service hole. Another game. I'm running away with this third set right now. I mean, we've seen some sea changes already this week with some matches. There have been some topsy-turvy affairs, but it's going to take something pretty drastic to turn this set around with the way it's going. The interesting thing, I was flying last year from Madrid to Rome and happened to be on the same flight with Suwei and we started to talk and I know her since 12 years old but never really talked outside of the tennis court and it was interesting. She's really, really, really smart girl and uh, have a lot of interest <laughs> in uh, yeah in investing stuff and yeah like business and uh, doesn't need to go to Harvard uh, doesn't need yeah. it <laughs> she had it all <laughs> <laughs> but it was interesting to see her outside of tennis court and talked and it's like completely different person <laughs> Oh my word! Let's just stop it. Yeah, it feels like she see the ball big now. See the ball big. See the ball early. Again, we often talk about Martina Hingis and her ability just to to see things ahead of time. Shay, similar sort of ability. How early she took that? Wozniacki, no chance. Yeah, it's, it's fascinating hearing about 
players are like. Of course, it's basic psychology in terms of everyone is different in different environments. But the, the intelligence is, is interesting, especially when, you know, someone who doesn't speak that much English yeah, it, on tour, and we don't see that personality and that, that side of her. Yeah, the thing is, you don't what see, you write the personality on the court. You don't know what what is she like. And then to be able, and you're like, whoa. <laughs> I mean, she, she's clearly an intelligent yeah. tennis player in terms of knows where to hit the ball and how to redirect. And You know, she lives and trains in Paris because her boyfriend is from there and she really loves Paris. And you're like, also yeah, you're interested about that. New ball, please. Stops the rot for now. Wozniacki gets herself on the board a lot later than she would have liked in this deciding set. It's Shea, though, who's in control at Time. Well, for those of you who've watched Caroline Wozniacki throughout her career, right or off at your peril, the amount of times that she's been able to get herself out of jail. In matches like these where she's been outplayed for the majority of it, so often has found a way to win, but has really been up against it for the last almost an hour and a half. Really, it was just a very quick fire start for Wozniacki that helped her out in that first set before Shea found her rhythm. Just such a smooth strike. Delicious backhand from Shea. Yeah, and just so clean and smooth and great leg set up. Another interesting thing about the way that when she practices, she doesn't really have that nice rhythm. So if you happen to be warming up with her practice, you will not have any <laughs> rhythm. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say, is in that you were speaking like someone who's <laughs> tried to hit with her yeah, before. <laughs> it's like, where is this nice flat ball that <laughs> when you play against you, uh, you, you get them a lot. That is another advantage that she has with playing with such a unique style, of course. You know, Roger Federer always tries to pick you know, a hitting partner who plays similar to his next opponent. And there aren't too many similar players out there to, to Shea in terms of trying to get prepared for a matchup with it. First ace, timely one two. 30 all.
Yeah, and again, I will say again about the way the ability of seeing the court, as you said, as a computer game without being emotional about it. That's just amazing. That's why she's so good. Well, that's where you talked about her intelligence, and maybe that's a, the, the, a sign of intelligence too, to be able to just shut part of the brain off emotionally, not give anything away. Better length from Wozniacki. It's got to be that good, though, hasn't it? Skidding off the back edge of the line. Still battling away, as she always does. She can get to that uh, I don't care do zone because she's losing 5 1. And oh. <laughs> She can find the key against uh, Su Wei, and uh, that's what I could feel during the on-court coaching with her dad. That was saying, uh, "Listen to me. If you're gonna do this, you 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 can find it, find a way to uh, come back in the match." But she was like, just you could see that she doesn't really believe. And her yeah, body language is a bit off. if Wozniacki is to lose here because it was the last 16 last year in Wuhan as I say winner in Beijing so he's got a lot of points to defend during this Asian swing I won't be in the, uh, the WTA finals either That's the question, Mosniaki. Hanging around Shirley. is the day. It's a long way back still, though, for the 13th seed. Shea leading 5 2. 